Well, thank you so much. Um, I don't need much of an introduction. I am a college professor at Nova Southeastern University where I teach AAC classes and do all sorts of ki AAC kinds of things. But we'll go ahead and skip the introduction. I have to confess that I have a bit of an anxiety around the whole issue of being introduced, and it kind of stems from a semi-traumatic experience that I had um, maybe about 20 years ago when my daughter was about six years old and in the first grade, and I was asked to come into the class for career day. So they have the parents talk about their jobs and what they do and so forth. And my daughter wasn't so sure about the idea. She seemed kind of worried, you know. But look, I'm a college professor. I teach for a living, you know. Um, but actually, I was kind of nervous. You know, I'm used to graduate students, but not so much six and seven years old. But, you know, I figure I'll, I'll go for it. So I get there a little early. And that's what we do when we're nervous, right? You get there a little early. And Billy's dad is talking. And Billy's dad, of course, is a detective. So he's like all these bells and whistles, it's just gigantic flashlight and cool gear. And he shows them his weapon and their eyes are big as saucers. And I know I'm in trouble before he even pulls out the stun gun. And my daughter keeps glancing back at me like she's super worried now. So now it's my turn and you know, what started out as like a few little nerves, well, now there's like a butterfly circus going on in my stomach. Um, uh, they have the kids introduce their parents, so my little Allie is like really sweating now. I don't know if a six-year-old could really sweat that much, but she starts to introduce me, and she says, this is my mom. She's a doctor, the kind that doesn't help anyone. <laughs> so. <laughs> So you can see why I like to skip the introductions. <laughs> I truly am so very honored to be here with you today and literally standing on the shoulders of giants. You can see me there, my little avatar. Over the years, these past presenters have spoken on new tools and strategies, bringing new things to your teaching and your therapy and your lives. And my goal today is a little bit different. Rather than going into kind of brand new, hot off the presses, never seen before tools and strategies, I want to talk about squeezing the most mileage out of a few things that are probably somewhat familiar to us in order to be, bring the most benefit to the lives of the people that we serve. So the things that we're going to talk about this morning are really about supporting implementation. Big new things are wonderful, they're sexy, they're exciting, but we can get a lot of mileage with smart, planful implementation of the thing, some of the things that we already know about. And as Jane Farrell is very fond of saying, the tech is wonderful, but it can't teach. One of the many things that Australia and the US, ooh, hang on one second here, um, that Australia and the US have in common is that our most widely used internet browser is Chrome and our search engine of choice is Google. And a great many of us use it, yes, um, but how many of us max out the capabilities? Right? There are over 60,000 Chrome extensions, and there are dozens of advanced search features um, from everything from currency conversion to synonym finders, and even assuming that only a tiny fraction of those would be truly helpful to any one of us, uh, it still leaves us a lot of options, and most of which we don't know about or use. Um, and the answer is not in another browser or another extension. The answer really is in us. New tools are exciting. They're sexy, they're fun, as I said. Um, and new strategies are awesome, too, and totally energizing. Uh, and they certainly have an important role for us and for our students. But the reality is, with all these new things, often we only ever really scratch the surface. And by digging deeper and kind of maxing out what we know about the things we already have, we can dramatically increase the number of AAC learning outcomes that we achieve for our students. And that's why we're here. Um, you and I are here because we are driven to give these students the best possible chance to be competent communicators who are literate and productive and happy so in the next hour or so, uh, we'll talk about things we can do to kind of contribute to that kind of outcome. But before we do, I want to show you this beautiful face. This is Rear Admiral Grace Mary Hopper, who is one of the first programmers, um, a pioneer, not just in the military, how many female Rear Admirals could there be, but also at the birth of the field of computer science. Uh, male